All right, thanks. Derek, our Josh Krupp has been talking with doctors today, and they are monitoring the situation here in town. Yeah, he's standing by with the advice and some of the changes that we're seeing locally because of that air, Josh. And Tina, Tony, that advice continues to be do not push yourself if you're doing outdoor activities, especially if you have any breathing conditions. One emergency room physician told me today that it's important to remember that you need to be the best judge of your own health. So if you're feeling like you're having trouble breathing, take it easy or get inside if you are outside. Take some time to see if you experience some improvements then before you go to the ER. That doctor told me today he's been seeing some anecdotal evidence at least that there are more people here locally going to the ER this week for breathing related issues. Our older neighbors and people with breathing issues, of course, are at most risk here, but it's also important to protect kids from this air. One daycare we visited today said right now they're taking extra precautions, which includes moving more outdoor activities indoors. So they're doing maybe some outside play inside. So we have definitely um, changed some of their outside playtime. They might go out this afternoon for a little while, for maybe five or six minutes, but usually they're out there for up to a half hour. Coming up tonight at five, we're talking with the area office on aging about the best advice for our older and most vulnerable neighbors. Reporting live, Josh Krupp, 13 Action News.